All right, so what we want to do here is to continue to talk about the comparison operators. We already talked about the equality operators. And so now what we want to do is talk about the less than operator, the greater than operator, the less than or equal to operator, and the greater than or equal to operator. So if you remember strict inequalities and non-strict inequalities from your math class, you're basically going to be good to go here. If not, I'm going to do a little bit of explaining here before we get into some examples. Let's say that we were in math class and we saw something like five is greater than three like this. Is this a true statement or not? And how can we determine if it's true or not? Well, the first thing you'd ask yourself, is five a larger number than three? Well, yeah, think about this in terms of money. If you had $5, is that more than if you had $3? Yes, it is, right? So this symbol here is the greater than symbol. It says that the number on the left is greater than the number on the right, okay? But if you don't remember that, in a pinch, you can just remember that the correct symbol will always point to the smaller number, okay? So in this case, it's pointing to the three. So that means this is true, okay? If I did something like this, let's say I did two is greater than seven. Well, this is false, right? Because now the symbol is pointing to the bigger number. It should always point to the smaller number. The correct relationship here is that two is the less than seven, okay? When you work with a less than, you're saying the number on the left is less than the number on the right. Again, if you can't remember this, it's okay. Just remember that the number that's smaller should have the symbol pointing towards it, okay? So in this case, the symbol is pointing towards the three. In this case, the symbol is pointing towards the two. Now, if we were to log these guys to the console, let's say we did console.log, okay? And we come over here, let's close this up. And let's get rid of this. And if, let's go ahead and pop open the terminal. And we run this, we get true in each case. Again, if you went in and changed one of these up, let's say I made this a greater than here. Well, now this isn't true, right? The symbol's not pointing to the smaller number. So I know this would be false. So I should have true and then false here if I run this again. And that's what I get, right? True and then false. Now let's quickly talk about the scenario where you have a non-strict inequality. So this is where you see something like greater than or equal to, or if you see something like less than or equal to, okay? So in math class, when you think about a non-strict inequality, you're thinking about the possibility of something being equal, okay? So let's say we did something like console.log, and I said five is greater than five. At this point, this is a false statement. Five is not greater than five. They're the same value, okay? So if I pop open my terminal, and run this, I get false. But if I put this equal sign here, now it's gonna be true because what we're saying is that, hey, is five greater than five? Well, no, but it could also be true that five is equal to five. And in this case, that is true. So only one of them needs to be true for this guy to be true, okay? So let's go ahead and clear this and run this now and we get true, okay? So you're allowing for the possibility of equality when you have this or equal to. So I could flip this around and say less than or equal to, doesn't matter, because of the equal sign there, it's still going to give me a true result, okay? The only way you would get a false result here, let's say I did something like five is greater than or equal to something that's bigger, okay? So let's say we did something like six. Well now, five is not greater than six, and five is not equal to six, so both conditions failed there, so we would get a false, right? If we put this up, and run it, we get false. But if I put something smaller, well then I'm okay, right? Because five is greater than three, that first condition is met, so we know that we would get a true statement here, okay? So we'll go ahead and clear this and run this, and we get true, okay? So it doesn't matter that they're not equal, it only matters that, again, one of them needs to be true. Is it greater than or is it equal to? And if I flip this around and put less than, is it less than or is it equal to? So here it's not less than, it's not equal to. So again, if we run this, we get false, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. And let's go ahead and further demonstrate this with a few variables. So let's say we do something like const and we'll say age of Jane, and we'll set this equal to something like 31. And you can change this around and we will throughout this example. And let's say we do something like const is full age, okay? And in most places, when you say full age, it's gonna be 21, right? That's the age where you can drink. That's the age where you can go to a casino. That's the age where you can do pretty much anything, okay? So let's go ahead and say that this is full age variable is gonna represent a Boolean, so a true or false, just basically saying, is Jane's age gonna be 21 or larger, okay? So I'm gonna write age of Jane, and then I'm gonna put greater than or equal to, and then I'm going to put this 21, okay? 
So what I'm saying here is the age of Jane, which is 31, greater than 21. Well, yes, it is. So this is going to give me a true, okay? It could also be true, if I put this as 21 exactly, is 21 greater than or equal to 21? Well, yes, it is. So either way, it's going to pass the test. And that's just telling us that, hey, she can drink if she goes into a bar, right? So we might run a little program that, for example, shows an alcohol ad if the person is 21 or older, but maybe if they're not 21, it'll show like a milk ad or something like that. So let's say we do console.log and I'll do my is full age variable. And in this case, if we clear this and run this, we do in fact get true, right? If I go up here and change this to 21, and again, we clear this and run this, we get true again. Only when I go less than 21, let's say I do something like 20, okay, and I pop this open and clear this and run this, now I'm gonna get false, right? Because this age of Jane, which is 20 now, is not greater than 21, and it's not equal to 21. Both of those conditions are not met, so this guy is false, okay? And you can also flip this around. Let's go ahead and delete this all together. And let's delete this, and let's do something like voting. So let's do something like const can't vote, and you can't use an apostrophe there, so I'm just gonna put can't vote like this. And I'm gonna put age of Jane, and I'll write it back in, and I'm gonna put, is it less than 18? Okay, so strictly less than 18. If that's the case, then that person can't vote. So let's go back up here and go const age of Jane, and let's say in this case that it's 17. Well, again, 17, which is the age of Jane, is less than 18, so this is going to be true, right? So in this case, the person can't vote. So let's go ahead and console.log this can't vote variable. And let's go ahead and clear this and run this and we get true, right? It's true that she can't vote. So if we come back up here and let's say we change this to 18 exactly, well now it's gonna be false, right? Because once you turn 18, even 18 that age, you can vote, right? So the second you turn 18, you can vote. So this will no longer be true, right? The fact that she can't vote. So if we go ahead and clear this and run this, we get false, right? Because now she can vote because she's 18 years old. Okay, so let's talk about a few other things that might come up. The first thing is you can't use the logical not operator, or that exclamation point, to reverse things here. Okay, so we saw earlier, if we had something like const num1 is equal to, let's say, 15, and then something like const num2 is equal to, let's say, the string 15, okay? And we can do const is equal, something like that, and we'll say is num1 double equal to num2, okay? So we know because of the fact that we're using two equal signs here that this guy is going to get converted to a number and then they'll be compared, right? So is 15 equal to 15? Well, yes, because they get converted. So if we go ahead, and I didn't console.log this, so console.log, the is equal variable, okay? If we pop this open, clear this and run this, we get true, right? But we also know we can flip this guy by putting an exclamation point there and deleting one of the equal signs. So if I do that, it's gonna flip it. And so now my true will become a false, okay? But you don't have something like that when you work with the inequality symbols, okay? So I can't, in other words, put a less than there and then say, okay, well, I'm gonna flip this guy by putting this exclamation point in front. You see how it's highlighting red? Because you can't do that, okay? So you can put a less than there, and if you wanna reverse it, just flip it and put a greater than. So here I'm gonna ask, is num1 less than num2? Well, in this case, you have 15 and then the string 15. With this guy, JavaScript is going to convert here. So it's gonna convert them, in this case, the string into a number, okay? And then it's going to say is 15 less than 15. The answer there is no, right? So we're gonna get a false here. So go ahead and clear this and run this and you get false. Okay, and you can flip this around and put greater than. In this case, you're still gonna get a false. Okay, the only way you could make them to be a true statement is to put an equal sign after, right? So you now you'd say greater than or equal to, or if you're doing the less than, the less than or equal to. So if you go ahead and clear this and run this, you do get true. Now there's a couple of other weird things that happen when you work with these guys. Now you see this guy gets converted into a number. If you're working with a Boolean, let's say I did something like true, true will be coerced into a one. Okay, so if I say is num one, and I'm gonna get rid of this or equal to here. So is num1 greater than num2? The answer to that is gonna be yes, because this guy is going to be converted into a one, okay? If it was a false, they get converted into a zero. So let's go ahead and run this and see that this would in fact be true. And let's say that I put this as a zero. Okay, well now this is gonna be false, right? Because this is gonna ask is zero greater than one? Well, no, it isn't. So let's go ahead and clear this and run this and we get false. Now, additionally, you also have to deal with null and undefined. 
So let's talk about null first. So with null, it's going to get converted into a zero, okay? So let's put this as something like, let's say negative one, okay? So is num one, which is negative one now, is that going to be greater than num two, which is null, and it's going to be converted into a zero? Well, no, it's not, right? This is gonna be false. Let's clear this and run this, we get false. If I flip the sign, it's gonna be true, right? Because num one is negative one, negative one is less than zero. So if we go ahead and clear this and run this, we get true, okay? Now, another thing, let me just change this to something like, let's say the number one. If you use undefined, now it's gonna get converted into not a number, okay? Now, when you work with not a number and you're using this less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it's always gonna give you false, okay? So if I, for example, run this, this is not gonna get converted to zero. So most people think that if you do a greater than there, that it would give you a true result, but that's wrong, right? So if you clear this and run this, you get false. If you flip the sign here, okay? and you clear this and run this, you still get false. If you put an equal sign after and you clear this and run this, you get false. And if you change it to this one, okay, and you clear this and run this, you still get false, okay? So it's this guy right here, this not a number that it's getting converted to that's always leading to a false result. I'm gonna show you this on MDN. So again, if you go to this expressions and operators, and I'll link this in the description, and you go down to the comparison operators, we have what we already talked about, the equal, the not equal, the strict equal, the strict not equal. And we have all these guys, the greater than, the greater than or equal to, the less than, the less than or equal to. What you wanna do is go to the less than, okay? And click on that. And then you're gonna to come to this page here, which is less than. I'll just link this page directly in the description as well. And so what you see here is the less than operator returns true if the left operand is less than the right operand and false otherwise. So there's some examples here, they're very simple. Now, if we scroll down here, it'll tell you all the rules. We didn't look at comparing a string to another string. I don't wanna get into that. That's a little bit complex for us at this point. But I do wanna talk about these numbers here. So again, if both values are string, they're compared to strings. I'm not gonna to touch that for right now. So we'll say that otherwise JavaScript attempts to convert non-numeric types to numeric values. So the Boolean values true and false are converted to one and zero. So true is one and false is zero. Null is converted to zero and undefined is converted to not a number. Okay, so you think about this, if either value is not a number, the operator returns false. Okay, so that's why we were seeing false each time when we were running that example.